Good evening and thanks for joining us. Tensions were high at tonight's Vigo County Council meeting. Some county employees say the approved 2.5% pay raise isn't enough. They were urging the council to increase that number and tonight a vote took place on that issue. New for you tonight on Night Watch News 10's Kit Hanley takes us to City Hall with details of the vote and what happens next. All county employees will now receive a 4% raise. That's after a 4-3 vote made by the county council at what became a pretty heated meeting. Why was this not a bigger issue, issue before we adopted the budget? I understand. It's been an issue. After a 4-3 to three vote to increase all Vigo County employee salary raises to 4% in 2023, the crowd rang out. Councilwoman Vicki Wager made the motion to up the pay raise from the initial 2.5% approved last month. And give all the county employees a 4% raise. Councilman Todd Thacker seconded that motion. But these people are needing that money right now. They need money and they're hurting right now, so we needed to do the right thing, and that's what we did. Councilwoman Marie Thies and President Aaron Loudermilk followed. The Vigo County Highway Department came out in waves. Brad Hellick is an operator for the county highway. He says this extra money will help in more ways than one. Yeah, and it's definitely going to help retain employees and, and recruiting is going to increase as well. So that's going to be positive. And it's not only the highway department employees that are getting this raise. It's all general employees, the merit officers and elected officials. In a time when we have seven to eight percent inflation, we can't sit around and wait until we hear from a study from a consultant. Now the council is still waiting on a salary study from Baker Tilly, a consulting firm. The three dissenting council members were Brenda Wilson, Travis Norris and David Thompson. Wilson said she didn't want to jump the gun without receiving the study results. Norris said he wanted to see employees get a higher raise than 4% and Thompson suggested a clothing stipend or an extra personal day in its place. The council will sign the recalculated budget in November and the official funding will start in January. Reporting in Vigo County, Kit Hanley, News 10. The county council also approved a request from CASA for more money. It's an organization that helps give abused and neglected children a voice. Recently, CASA has struggled to stay afloat due to the loss of state grant money. But it's not only the money the organization is worried about. Leaders say they're losing employees left and right. Tonight, the county council gave CASA an additional $6,100. It's to help pay the part-time employees until the end of the year. The council hopes to give the organization more help as it's needed.